Pete Agnew talks about Nazareth almost taking that ill-fated Leonard Skinner flight. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Being a rock star certainly puts one in a special group. Now, not everyone knows everybody else if you're in that group, but there are some special connections made. People you meet in the studio, there's fans, there's touring partners, and we could go on and on. Pete Agnew says there was a connection with Nazareth and Leonard Skinner. Even though this story has been around for a little while, I had to ask him, was the band Nazareth really invited on that ill-fated flight? It happened in 1977, and it killed Leonard Skinner's lead singer, Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist Steve Gaines, his sister and backup singer, Cassie Gaines, assistant road manager Dean Kilpatrick, and both pilots. You know, one thing I've always wanted to ask you, and I'm so glad I'm having a chance to, to talk to you today, is, like, I've always heard, and, and I, again, thought this might have been an urban legend, but was it true that Nazareth was invited onto the Leonard Skinner plane? What happened was uh, we were doing the gig with them in, in Greenville. That was the last gig, and that's where Artemis, you know, Artemis Pyle, the, uh, the, the drummer, he comes from there. And um, that night before we went, we, we, uh, they just brought out Street Survivors. In fact, Street Survivors had just gone gold uh, a couple of days before that, so they were all celebrating, you know. They were all very, very happy. And we we were, uh, that was the, the two of us were starting out this, well, they were starting out a tour, we were doing this gig with them. And Artemis, he actually wanted to introduce us that night. He intro introduced Nazareth on stage. When we come off, they were saying that uh, they would like to, they were going to have a barbecue the next day during the day. They were going to Baton Rouge later on, like that night, I think it was. And we were going to New Orleans because we were doing a gig and it was us and Ted Nugent. We were playing in the warehouse in a couple of days later, you know. So uh, the, the Artemis was saying, we're going to have a barbecue at my place because he lives there, you know. You're going to come to the barbecue. No, we could, you know, you could go on the plane because it's only an hour from, you know, you could, from Baton Rouge, you could drive to New Orleans and that. We're going, well, you know, we've got, we've got um, we're, we're like interviews to do and stuff and all that kind of thing. And that, that and the fact we don't, we don't like private planes, you know. We just never really, ever really fancied it. And uh, so anyway, we talked about it, and it was, but it never, you know, it never, it never came to anything. And it was just, uh, well, when you, well, then, then it happened. You know, that was the next night uh, when the when the, when, the, when the actual crash happened. It's got to make you shake your head though a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's very, 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 very much so. I mean, I, I had a, a closer call than that. You're talking about planes. I mean, my my wife, well, Lee, who plays drums with my wife and my three kids, my three oldest at the time. Uh, we were in the Isle of Man and my manager came over to see me to have a meeting with Dan and me and he had a little private plane it was like you know just like five six six thing and he was going back to Scotland like the next day and my wife was going back with the three kids the next day and I says to, to, to Bill I know can we can, can they get a lift you know because we're, they're going to the same airport you know uh -huh. I said no nah. I said I've got people here I've got to, to pick up these guys or so I can't get them on the plane so he flew back the next day and the plane crashed, everybody killed. No. And, I'd actually, and so that was the closest we ever came because, uh, the, you know, the family would have been on that one. So me and me and planes have been, well, I, I don't think they were lucky as, as it, to be used in a situation like this, but uh, let's say anointed. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Pete Agnew is the only original member of Nazareth left. That's from the classic lineup. Singer Dan McCafferty, retired guitarist Manny Charlton left the band, and drummer Daryl Sweet died in 1999. Tattooed on My Brain is the name of the new Nazareth album. You can pick it up. We'll have links to their website in the description of this video. This is part one of nine of our conversation with Pete Agnew. We'll have more coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.